Hi again, it's Mary with Blue Dane Vintage, and I am back with another haul uh, from a giant pile of free stuff that I got from uh, my husband's client, who he was doing some home repairs for. And um, he let them know that I sell on eBay, and they had a whole bunch of stuff they're getting rid of, and they said, come on over and take everything, or take what you want. And I just took everything and decided to just go through it at my own leisure so that, and just get rid of whatever I don't want so that they it's out of their house and they don't have to worry about it. So they did have a pile of things that they wanted me to consign. So that's what this video is now, and it's mostly record albums and Avon stuff. So let's see what we have here. First box. Oh, this paper is munched up from Mises. When is this paper from? So they packed this stuff away in 1980. The paper is 1980. One sec. Okay. Yeah. So we've got, she said that she had a bunch of, of the Avon car, cologne car thingies, and there's actually cologne still in there. And somebody made a little label that says Corvette. That's cute. A Corvette. And let's see what else. I'm going to wrap it so we can experience it together. Oh my gosh, this paper's all dried up and falling apart. This has been packed away for since 1980. So. There's cologne in that one. Whoopsie. However long ago that was. 40 years ago? Holy crap. Okay. Oh, and here's a little... These all still have cologne in them, too. It's a little um, covered wagon. Wild country is the scent. Wow, I forgot to unwrap it with you. This is Deep Woods in a Thunderbird 55. Very cool. It's like Christmas. I'm making a, such a mess here. Oh, that's cool. This is Deep Woods in a Bugatti, in a 1927 Bugatti. And is there still, can I see? I can't tell if there's anything in there. That's cool. Oh, are there comic strips here? Wrapping. This paper is so little. The little race car. This is, uh, I don't know, there's no label and there's nothing inside. So there's that one. And then the rest of them are still in the box. So I won't pull them out. Core 37. 1926 checker cab. Pierce Arrow, 1933. 1936 MG with the Avon Blend 7 aftershave. I'll say what the aftershave is. Um, oh, cool. 1931 Greyhound with Avon Spicy Aftershave. Does it have the year on it? Hmm. Oh, okay. So in 1972, so yeah, I think um, definitely these are all from the 70s. So cool. Then we have a big rig with Wild Country Aftershave. And a 1936 Ford. 
with Oland aftershave. Oops. Then this is Avon <laughs> Extra Special Mail. What is this one? Oh my goodness, it's a little mail truck. Oh my gosh. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. I love that. For the mailman in your life. Then we have a Sure Winner Racing Sure Winner Bracing Lotion. And a little race car. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh, a 48 Chrysler with Wild Country Aftershave. Here is a 1898 Elwood Haynes with Avon Blend 7 aftershave. Here is a Remember When gas pump. Oh my gosh, I need to open this one. Still with the aftershave in it. That's so cute. How cute is that? Okay, let's put that back. This is amazing. I think this lady used to also do, obviously, she was an Avon lady. <clears throat> um, here is a Firefighter 1910. How cool. With a Thai Winds aftershave. I can hear it in there. Mm -hmm. A 1956 Triumph TR with Avon Spicy Aftershave. A tractor Trailer Avon Highway King with um, Wild Cologne, Wild Country Aftershave. Then a Stutz. 1914 Stutz Bearcat with Oland aftershave. Van. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. A Rolls Royce. 1906 Rolls Royce? No, 1947 model with Deep Woods aftershave. I don't hear anything there. Then a 68 Porsche with Avon Spicy Aftershave. Yep, it's in there. And the Winnebago, oh my gosh. Motorhome with Wild Country Aftershave. I need to see this. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Wow. And it's the aftershave is still in there. Oopsie. It's in there. Ooh. Is it leaking? I don't know. And a 64 Mustang with Ty Wins aftershave. A 51 Studebaker with Wild Country Aftershave. And then here's a couple of just loose bottles. Huh. Pierre Cardin Men's Cologne. That might be worth something there. I don't know if that's kind of... Yeah. Then these little made in... Royal Spice Toilet Lotion in Royal Lime. 
obviously pretty old, but obviously they're not Avon. Made in, oh, it's so tiny. I can't read that, so I'm just going to hold it up there and hope that. No, it's blurry, but those are cool. Okay, I'm going to put all these back, so I'll be right back. Okay, next box is a couple of vintage games. Very cool things. There's a vintage Sorry game. I don't know what year that is. What does it say on the side? Nineteen thirty-four renewed. Nineteen sixty-two. So or nineteen sixty-four. So it's the earliest, the latest I can say that is nineteen sixty-four. But it's all there, and that's very cool. Then, super cool. Unopened Smurf lock blocks from nineteen eighty-two. There is. Papa Smurfs Laboratory, another unopened, Dr. Smurfs Office, 1982, then we have Gargamel's Castle, Glow in the Dark, there's one end that's kind of ripped open, but that's, it's never been opened at all, and then we have another Gargamel's Castle Glow in the Dark that has been opened. So I can show you the pieces. All the little glow in the dark pieces. And there's Gargamel. Bad guy. So cool. Whoops. Again, this is all stuff that um, is going to be consigned. So they'll get a percentage and I'll get a percentage. Then we have these little Avon, is it lip balm? Oh, Avon fragrance. Oh my gosh. They're all empty, but aren't they so cute? They're little, it's a little pin. Pin back, there's a little kitty. And a little apple with a worm in it for teacher. Oopsie. Yeah, that doesn't have the thing in it. Then we have, oh my gosh, it's a little bunny with a little fluffy tail. Let me see if it's got the stuff in it. It's got a little bit left. It doesn't smell like anything. Then a little cow. So cute. Does it say when these are from? Mm -hmm. Avon. Yeah, I don't know the year, but of the 70s, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. A little gingerbread girl or the gingerbread boy. And a little chick in an egg. Did it come open? Yeah, no. Okay, put these back. Those back. Then we have, oh my gosh, a stack of Avon catalogs from 76. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are all from 19, the 1970s. So glamorous. Might as well show all of them. 1976. 1976. Father's Day sweepstake. Remember that shampoo? 76. Yeah, she was an Avon lady. Sunny Griffin is that lady right there. Earthy, gutsy, downright 
sexy. Hold on, wrong country. For the most beautiful eyes under the sun. She had this one in a, um, a plastic thingy. Happy birthday, America. You're beautiful. Yeah, those are all from 1976. Oh my gosh. More boxes with original things in them. I had these when I was a kid. They are the Small World Cologne Mist. We have her, the little girl. And is this the same one? Yeah, she's the same one. That's just an empty one. Does that have stuff in it? No. The, this one is this one is glass or maybe hard plastic and this is just plastic oh my gosh okay we're gonna need space so I'm gonna put these magazines on the floor so oh, that's an empty box Avon California perfume co but it's empty there's nothing in that box maybe we'll find the bottle this is also an empty box, but there's some um, just loose bottles. So maybe these are just all the boxes for those. Avon Charm Light Sonnet Cologne Cream Sachet. Uh, this one has the thing in it. Betsy Ross Fragrance. Let's open it. 22 minutes. It needs to be cleaned up, but we have Betsy Ross. There's a little bit left in there. I'm afraid to smell it. I don't want to smell it. But the box is in sad condition, but that's okay. Uh, Avon Enchanted Mushroom. Is this taking you back? Oh, that's broken. But it's cute soap I think that's uh, like soap and it just sat on top of there that's weird okay the box is empty bunny fluff puff so cute look at the graphics on that box that's adorable a little princess oh there's oh it is in there it's just empty I never saw this one. It's a, is it a powder puff? It must be. Oh yeah, there was powder in it as it's coming out. Yeah, there was powder in there and then you do the little fluffy bunny tail on your, wherever you want to put the powder on. Let's see. This looks kind of like a newer thing. Oh, there's a bunch of earrings in here. And this big giant ring that something just fell off of. Yeah, there's some pieces missing, but it's a. Uh... Oh, they're all coming off. It's got like a fragrance in there. But all the little pearls are coming off. I'll have to find those later. Okay. Those earrings. Um. Here's another one of those little ladies. These are all sticky and icky. Be cleaned up. Another empty box for lemon velvet cologne mist. Probably have that in here. Here is an 1876 Cape Cod collection wine goblet. Let's check that. And it's a candle. <laughs> Felina Fluffles Pink and Pretty Cologne. It's a little kitty. That's a cute box. And there is stuff still in there. Oh, she's she needs to be cleaned up. There's something all over her face. But there's Felina. 
Felina Fluffles. Okay, this is taking a long time. This is Floral Bud Base Lemon Velvet Bath Foam. like oh it's like a milk glass uh, thing nothing really in there Avon Bells of the World American Bell Sonnet Cologne Pretty. Okay. Um, an empty box for Avon Pert Penguin. Let's see if I find him in there. An empty box for. Avon Precious Doe Sweet Honesty Cologne. I don't know what was it, what kind of a box was, or a bottle was in there. Um, another Betsy Ross figurine. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same one. That's the top. Okay. And an empty box for. Avon Unspoken Ultra Cologne Spray. Let's see if we can find that. Here is an Avon Field Flowers Perfumed Powder Mist. Nothing left in there. Avon Sunshine Rose Fragrance Candle Holder. I love the colors on that. I don't think there's... Oh yeah, it's in here. It's just a little metal candle holder. That's cute. Little Bo Beep Sweet Honesty Cologne. <laughs> oh, little sheep, where are you? A little bit left in there. Princess of Yorkshire with Topaz cologne. Is that a little dog? Oh, is that a little Shih Tzu? Or is it York? I don't know. Is it a Yorkshire Terrier? I don't know. Is that why that says Yorkshire? That's cute. A little bit left in there. <laughs> oh gosh. Heavenly Angel with Unforgettable cologne. She's in, she's seen better days, but she's cute. Song of Love, uh, Moonwind Cologne Mist, just an empty box. Cute. <clears throat> Island Parakeet Charisma Cologne. Oh, I like that, that image on that box. That's cute. Oh my gosh, whoops. Avon Sweet Treat, Pink and Pretty Cologne, just the box. Catnip Floral Medley Fragrance Candle. Oh, it's in there. Looks like it's gonna be cute. Oh, isn't she cute? She got a candle in her head. Hmm. She's pretty dirty. Um, 
Trailing Arbutus Perfumed Talc. Pretty flowers. Oh, that's pretty. And it's still full. Avon Mist Anniversary Sweepstakes. Oh, Anniversary Keepsake. Ready? Here is a couple of bottles. It's supposed to be like a little flower bouquet, but they're empty. That one's glass and that one's plastic. And it says field, field flowers foaming bath oil. That's sticky and icky. And here is Rapture. Is that an Avon? Yeah, it is. Avon Rapture. Nothing in there. And here we have Charisma Cologne Mist. You can't see. Oh, yeah. Nothing in there. Sticky. Empty Avon Mineral Spring Bath Crystals. Moonwind Perfumed Powder Mist. Empty. Why she have all these empty ones? Avon Timeless Ultra Cream Perfume. Empty. And an empty Avon Elusive Perfumed Powder Mist. I've seen this one before. It's I think it's the Charisma. Nothing in there. And another one of the Charisma Cologne mist. Um, this is Avon Patterns Cologne mist. That's groovy. Yeah, nothing in there. <laughs> Avon Sunshine Rose Fragrance Candle Refill. This is getting long. I'm not going to open that. It's just, it's crunchy and weird and it's going to fall apart, I'm afraid. Avon Timeless Ultra Cologne Mist. It's in there. It's empty, though. I wonder if she just kept these for display or something. I don't know. I mean, for her, if she was showing it, you know what I'm saying? Empty bottle. Here it is. Dear Friends Field Flowers Cologne. Little girl with the kitty cat. I don't think I have that box. Oh, you may. Oh. Elusive Cologne Mist, empty bottle. This is full and it says California Perfume. That's pretty, a little Victorian style, just for fun. Can I even open it? Okay, ready? Woo! It doesn't smell bad, but it's strong. That's a really pretty bottle though. I really like that. And just a couple empty powder and lotion containers. Uh, elusive. Perfumed skin softener. Empty. And a field flowers. Cream sachet. Ugh. It's all grainy and stuff. We're getting there. And another Timeless Ultra Cologne Mist. I opened one of those before. Yeah, I'll save till last. Teddy Bear Decanter. Oh, he's cute. And he still has stuff in him. Mm -hmm. 
Avon Fashion Accents in Jewelry Kensington Ring. Is it in there? Oh, it's not even in there. And these are just a couple of simulated diamond accent necklace. Maybe they're in that jewelry box that I found earlier, that I found previously. Empty. Empty. Rapture cream sachet, probably empty. And um, here's my heart cream sachet. I'm not going to open it. Almost there. Raining violets cream sachet empty. Um, that's a turtle. Oh, the head is like all worn off, probably from taking the head off and on. For applying the perfume but it's empty and this is a little rocking horse what's the frick sweet honesty oh I used to wear sweet honesty another empty jewelry box a little Santa with his hat is broken for Jolly Santa with Here's My Heart Cologne. And I just dropped a bunch of little sample bottles with Sonnet, Cotillion, Charisma, Moonwind, Topaz, and Occur. It's like a little demo samples and that's it for that box so i'll be right back okay next we have this oi is it ceramic figurine it's super heavy i don't think i want to sell this online and ship it but i don't know yeah I don't know who made it or what the company is. There's no markings on it. Well, there are right here, and I don't know what that is. So if the one person that's watching this knows, let me know. So I did all the Avon and the games. So all we have left are record albums. And I don't think I'm going to... I might just do a flip through, hold the camera and do a really quick flip through with that. So, um, yeah, I'll be back quick. So you can have a peek. Statesman, stop looking, listen for the Lord. There's a lot of gospel in here. Kate Smith, how great thou art. Mylan. I don't know who Mylan is. Who is Mylan? Oh, Mylan Lefevre? Yeah. The Imperials. Wayne Newton, Songs for a Merry Christmas. I think a lot of these are going to end up groovy hairdos. A lot of these are going to end up going to to be donated. The Imperials. But I don't know. I haven't written. There's a lot of Imperials. I could do a lot. Stevie Wonder. Cool. 
1966. That's cool. Andre Crouch. Cool. Bill Cosby. Don't know if anybody's going to want that. Nancy Harmon. Andre Crouch. Love song. The Spear family. <laughs> Lots of those. Tony. Another Andre Crouch. Missy Ernie Ford. <laughs> Temptations. Cool in the gang. Oh, it's not in there. Darn it. Simon and Garfunkel. It's in there. Tom Petty. That's a good one. Deep Purple. That's quite a, a departure from all these albums. Fever. Funky Jazz. Cool. Although, that's a little bit bent, so I don't know if the record's bent. Okay, hold on for the next box. Continuing on, we have A Date with the Everly Brothers. Fifth Dimension. Sly and the Family Stone. You can read. Revolver. That's really cool artwork. Wait. Is that the Beatles? Oh, yeah, it is. Taxman. Oh, the Beatles revolver. Pfft, duh. See, I'm not familiar with this album. I haven't seen this one before. That's very cool. I don't know who Gene Pitney is. Pat Boone. I Elvis. Christmas. The Times. The best of Creedence Clearwater Revolver. Revival. By KTEL. I remember those commercials. From Fred Meyer. Jack Jones. Frank Sinatra. Dick Smothers. The Letterman. Oh my gosh, these are so awesome. Bette Midler. William Seller, Songs of the 60s, 101 Strings. Barry White. Engelbert Humperdinck. Donny Osmond! Oh my gosh. Firefall. Still has a plastic on it. Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees. Aerosmith. Oh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Oh my gosh. From the original motion picture soundtrack. So cool. Air Supply. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Ronnie Millsap. Dave and Sugar, Greatest Hits. Pablo Cruz. Oh, there's the cup the front. Commodore's Live, we used to have this album. My sister did. Oh my gosh, it's never been opened. Wow. Never been opened. Very cool. Convoy. Neil Diamond, we my mom had this album. We had this one. Peaches and Herb. Engelbert Humperdinck. John Travolta. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. 20 aerobic dance hits. Groovy. Nothing but good. Elton John's Greatest Hits, Wichita Lineman, Connie Smith, Fifth Dimension, Ronnie Millsap, and the Bee Gees. Never been, has it been opened? Never been opened. Never been opened, Linda Ronstadt. It's got that cut in it, though, that they used to do, I think, and this one, too. So we'll see. Okay, hold on. And the last box of LPs. <clears throat> Bittersweet. That's my husband. 
in the background, clearing his throat. Jack Green. Captain and Tennille. Conway Twitty. <laughs> Mary Gantlin. Lots of Ronnie Millsap. Olympic and Brayburn. Susan Crofts. The Supremes. Sha Na Na. Uh -huh. Garden Party. R Ricky Nelson. Rick Nelson, I should say. Are you talking to me? Nope. J. Thomas, Glenn Campbell. Oh my gosh, Casey and the Sunshine Band, greatest hits. And then I have some 45s. <laughs> They're pretty scratched up. My first concert. Oh, one of my all time favorites. Oh, that's so cute. Mary Poppins. Oh, cool. Sesame Street fairy tale album. Oh. So cute. Bambi. Some music sheets. Fun. Slim Whitman.
Tim and Dane. Oh, cool. Glenn Campbell, look how young he looks there. <clears throat> Roots Randolph, the yak and sex man. That's it.